Assalamu alaikum everyone this is Gohar Ali in today's video I want to show you how you can both get and use OBS so first off what is an OBS it's extremely powerful and also versatile screen recorder and you can use it to stream to services like Twitch YouTube and also Facebook best of all it's entirely free let's see how we can get OBS here I am on the PC and I want to show you how you can get OBS once again it's entirely free to get OBS let's head to the website obsproject.com I also included the link in the description you can simply click on that to navigate this website the great thing is about OBS it's work across all the major platforms including Windows Mac and also Linux to download OBS simply click on the operating system that you are using and then run through the installation process once you finish downloading and installing OBS go ahead and launch the app that will drop you on a screen that look like this for those of you who are wondering well how am I recording this video of course I'm using OBS to record OBS it's kind of like the movie inception right now we simply have a black screen how do we get started by far the easiest way to get going with the app OBS is to go up to the top menu tools click on tools select auto configuration wizard this opens up the auto configuration wizard and here we have a choice to make you need to decide what exactly you want to use it for you can use it for streaming for screen recording or you could use it uh, as a virtual camera with the streaming option if you select this it's going to go through and have you select a service provider so whether you are using twitch youtube facebook and it's also help you identify the best bitrate second just like the name implies you will be able to record your screen and then you will have a video file on your computer that you will have edit or you could send it to others lastly there is another option for virtual camera what is a virtual camera well in a moment we are going to compose a scene using OBS with the virtual camera you can send that scene to different video conferencing softwares whether it's a Microsoft Teams Zoom or Google Meet or or any other services you can use it a virtual camera for this tutorial I am going to optimize for recordings once you make your selection let's click on next next we have a few more questions that we need to answer first we need to indicate what is our base resolution is I would select the option that matches the resolution of your display when you click this drop down menu you will see the display one and I only have one monitor so I will select this option next there is a question about the frame per second that we would like to use and we have several different options here here we could go with the 30 frame per second and 60 frame per second or we could go either one but prefer either higher frame or lower frame in general if you are going to be recording say gameplay you probably want to go with the higher frame per second that's make a little bit smoother if you are going to be recording things like your desktop or an application you probably want to go with the 30 frame per second and you will have a little bit better resolution so I'm going to select 30 frame per second now I'm going to select the 30 frame per second once we make all our selection now let's click on next on the next screen we will see the final results of auto configuration wizard and this shows us the various settings that is going to put in place for our recording and it's all looks good and next so next click on apply settings if you want to go back and make any modifications modifications on a setting you can always click on the tools again 
and auto configuration widget click on auto configuration widget and you could and you could run through the auto configuration wizard once again this is by far the easiest way to get started alternatively if you want to tweak the various type of settings you can click on file menu and settings within setting click on output and then you can customize your streaming and your recordings if you want full control click on output mode and click on advanced mode and you have full control over the settings of your streaming and your recordings once again using the auto configuration wizard is by far the easiest way to get going